Oh, yeah, man. I just heard that little bing. So we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Okay, guys, we're going to be solving multi-step equations here. Or, sorry, inequalities here. But ultimately, it's the kind of the same as equations. It's really super duper 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 similar, all right? So we're going to be ending up doing the same thing here, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at number nine. I think number nine is an amazing question because we're going to be able to remember some of the things we've done in some of the other problems here. But we're also going to be able to see why inequalities are different okay because again you know i've mentioned inequalities are different and and they are there is one thing that we need to be aware of when working out these problems okay so we got a problem like number nine here okay we got number nine we got negative two-thirds f remember it could be any variable here so we got negative two-thirds f all right let me put the f plus three is less than negative nine okay it's a good good little problem we got going on here. good little problem all right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, wait a second. I was going to draw my little line straight down, but I hope you see that we see something that probably a lot of us don't even like. Fractions, right? We see that fraction there. We see a denominator of three, all right? I hope the easiest way that we could simplify this, because I know a lot of us don't like fractions, okay? We could use one of our properties of equality. We're going to use the multiplication property of equality. And the easiest way to cancel out that denominator of 3 is multiply everything by 3. So essentially, what we're going to do is multiply the left side of the equation by 3 to cancel out that denominator. Remember, whatever we do to the left, whatever we do to the left, we got to do to the right. We got to do to the right. Yeah, that's right. I said it twice, okay? Just because, it, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you really paid attention. Anyway, anyway, whatever. So we got ourselves three, and we're going to multiply it by negative two-thirds, okay? So let me go and set that problem up over here. So we got three times two-thirds, right? So we're, we're gonna, you know, let's go ahead and set this up. So three times two is going to equal to six and it's still negative, right? We got negative six, and now we're gonna divide by three, right? We wanna do step at a time, so we had to do this and this first. Notice it turned into six. Now we got six divided by three. Six divided by three is two, and since it's a negative and a positive, different signs stays negative. There you go, okay? So we got ourselves negative two F. Let me go ahead and write that down here, okay? And I hope that made sense. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and capitalize my F because I've noticed for me personally, and this is okay if you do this also, and that's why I'm showing it to you. Me personally, sometimes I'll get confused with Fs, Ts, especially T, man. The letter T, I, I got to use capitalized Ts. If I use lowercase Ts, they look like plus signs to me. So sometimes if you want to change the variable to, to suit your style, it is okay. It is okay. Just make sure that, you know, you do understand, like, what, what, what you're essentially doing here. Now, in any case, we got negative 2f. Now we got to multiply three times this term. Okay. The, the next thing, you know, the next thing that's on the left side of the equation. So three times three is nine here. And then we go bring that plus sign straight down. Okay. We got our inequality. We just bring it straight down. And now we got to do nine times three, nine times three, 27. And of course, bring down the negative here. Cool. Cool. All right, all right, all right. So that was our first line right there. Bam. We use the multiplication property of equality of the inequality. Remember, this, we're working with inequality, but we can still, whatever we do to one side, we can do the other side. Still works, still works. It's amazing stuff. All right. Next, I hope we could see it's a multi-step process. We're gonna have to take away, well, we're gonna have to do the opposite of the order of operations. And as you can see in this problem, we have a negative two times, there's a little times f plus nine on the left side. Well, the first thing we have to do, the first thing we have to undo the opposite of positive nine would be minus nine. We're going to subtract nine from both sides of the equation, okay? And that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. So the nines cancel, of course. So you could circle them to represent the zero pair that they make. And we could go ahead and bring everything straight down. We got ourselves negative 2f, Okay. Then we bring down the inequality. Remember, the nines cancel each other out. 
Same sign on the right side. Same sign. They're both negative, so we're going to keep the negative. And since they're the same sign, we add them and keep the sign. We add them and keep the sign. In this problem, it becomes negative 36. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting really, really, really close. But we got one last step to do. And I hope you could go ahead and see what that last step is. We have negative 2 times F. Remember I put that little dot? Remember I put that little dot? Well, the opposite of times is divide. We're going to use the division property of inequality, and we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. Now, on this one, it might be just a little easier to scratch out the negatives right here. Right here. These, well, you can't really see the highlighter, but I'm kind of scratching them out, the twos. I'm trying to. I didn't mean to scratch out the F either. So, you know what? Maybe I should eliminate that highlighter. But what we're essentially doing is canceling out these twos, right? And we're left with F on the left side, all right? 36 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2. Well, it's 18. It's 18. And of course, we could use a four function calculator for that. Okay. And I'll even bust it out here because, you know, just in case, you know, you could use one of these bad boys. So don't worry about it, you know. And, and of course, we got different calculators, of course, different things here. Let me just, I don't know why it's so large. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, yeah, just negative 36, right? Let me make it 36, negative, right? And then it's going to be what? Divided by negative 2, right? Okay, I don't, and there you go. Okay, wow, that was terrible. I, I don't think I even did this right. Okay, so let me let me type this in again. Okay, 36 negative. Then we're gonna divide it by two negative equals boom 18. Wow, I was already gonna show some wrong stuff. Again, technology is a funny thing. If we don't use it, sometimes we make mistakes with it. But it's not the technology's fault. It's ultimately the human's fault. You know. But but here's the thing. I almost was just gonna get this wrong. I hope you guys see that. I almost was to get this wrong. I multiplied or divided by a negative. Anytime we multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality flips around. And our correct answer is F is greater than 18. If you wanted to, we could go ahead and put 18 in the middle with a little number line here, right? We circle the 18. We shade to the right because F is greater than 18. We leave the circle open. And we call it a day because that's all it is, okay? And there you go. So cool. Let's do another problem. One more problem here, okay? But now I want to do something a little bit more awkward, a little bit more intense here, okay? Something a little bit like number. Immediately when I saw this page, the first thing that caught my eye was number 13, okay? And I ain't going to lie. The first thing I was like, wow, we need to hit this. We need to hit this because this is double distributive property and we're going to have variable on both sides. I think this is an amazing question. I don't know what's going to happen at the end, but we're going to have a good time solving it. And that's why I like these types of problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to go ahead and do this one right here. We got ourselves 13. I'll let you guys set it up on your piece of paper while I set it up up here. Of course, remember, guys, you could always pause me so you could try to do the problem and then fast forward and see if you're doing it right. And if you're not doing it right, you could check it out and see what I'm doing. You know, that's probably the best bet to, to do these types of things. All right. We got negative six parentheses w plus one and parentheses is less than two parentheses w plus five all right w plus five all right i hope you notice there's a variable on both sides and i hope you notice we're gonna have to use the distributive property here first things first we're gonna have to distribute the negative six to both of these here okay that's just what it is negative six times w negative six w Okay, we got to be able to just do that. Negative 6 times 1, a negative times a positive is a negative, and 6 times 1 is 6, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring the inequality down, but we get whatever we, you know, we got to do that distributive property also on the right side here. We got to do it on the right side, so let's go ahead and set it up. We got 2 on the right side, and we're going to multiply 2 times W. We're multiplying here. 2 times W creates 2w here okay that's just what it is now we got to do two times times five remember we're multiplying distributive property is multiplying okay and two times five is gonna make ten and since it's a positive five and a positive two it'll be positive ten i hope that made sense we use the distributive property okay that was our first step and we actually look i apologize sometimes i do kind of things a little bit you know, I actually use distributive property twice. I probably should have just, you know, the blue side, I probably should have done one step and then the light, 
lavender side, I should have done, you know, in another step. But, you know, I may not have had enough space on this page to go ahead and do, you know. So so I just kind of made an, a mathematical decision. And, of course, you could do that, too. All right. So we have the variable on both sides of the equation here. Okay. I hope you could see that here. I always make a recommendation you cancel out the least variable. Okay, what does that mean? Well, let me go in and highlight them. Okay, let's see if the highlighter even works. Okay, we got ourselves negative 6w on the left side, okay, and then we got ourselves 2w on the right side. That's cool how the highlighter actually helped change them a little bit of a different color. <laughs> At least I thought it was cool. Anyways, we have the least variables would be on the left side. I hope you see that negative 6w. That's the one personally I would cancel out because the it, it ends up turning our inequality into a positive, okay? So what I would do is add 6W to both sides, okay? That's what I would do. Add 6W to both sides, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add 6W to both sides, and then we just bring the stuff down, okay? I hope you see we end up with negative 6 on the left. This stuff canceled out. The inequality, bring it down. 2w plus 6w makes a total of 8w's plus 10. All right? So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. So from this problem, we're going to be working on the right side of the equation. But it's all good. It's all good. So what we could do, next step would be to subtract 10 from both sides, right? We want to cancel out using the order of operations, using the inverse operations of the order of operations. We want to cancel out these things. So on the right side, we have 8w plus 10, but now we got the minus 10. The 10s cancel. We're left with 8w on the right side, okay? Again, the plus 10 and minus 10 cancel each other out. We got the less than in the middle, and now we have negative 6 and negative 10. Same sign, you add them and keep the sign. And 10 and 6 make a total of 16. But they're not 16 positives. They're 16 negatives, okay? So we're getting there. We're super duper close, okay? Let me, I'm going to have to stretch this out a little bit. We got 8W on the right side of the equation. We got one last step. We need to divide both sides by the 8. Instead of multiplying by 8, we got to divide by 8 because that's what 8w means, 8 times w. But again, we're inversing the operation, so that's what we got to cancel out. The 8s, they cancel out, okay? We're left with w on the right side. And let me go in and put my little line over here. The left side, we got ourselves 16 divided by 8. 16 divided by 8, all right? And, well, look, I know my times table. 16 divided by 8 is 2, okay? But, again, don't be shy. Use that calculator, a little four function, or use the calculator that's available to you when you're taking these th things, you know, or taking the test, you know, the star EOC. Don't, don't worry about it. You just use the calculator. Don't be shy about it. So 16, negative, right? And then we're going to divide it by 8. And there you go. We got ourselves a value of negative 2, negative 2. So negative 2 is less than W. This is a little bit different than uh, some of the other inequalities. I will tell you something, me personally, I don't like having my variable on the right side of any statement. I usually like to start with my variable on the left side, especially when I solve for it. So <coughs> negative 2 less than W. Man, I've been talking a lot. I mean, it's been, it's been a long Saturday. <laughs> well, here's what I would do. Let me just write out right here, negative 2 less than W. What I would do is write the W on the left side. But if I flip the W on the left side, I'm going to put the W on the, I mean, sorry, the negative 2 on the right side. But if we have to do that, I hope you notice what I also have to do to the inequality. The inequality flips around. So both of these are correct, okay? The one I would worry about would be this one because the second one here really kind of helps, at least me, understand how to make my number line. The second one, if you wanted to finish this off with a number line, we would go ahead and put some tick marks. Negative 2 would be in the middle. I guess negative 1 over here, you know, 0. Negative 3 over here. We would circle the negative 2, right? We would circle, and it says W is 
greater than negative 2. So we would shade to the right and we would leave the circle open or unshaded. All right. So I just want to go ahead and practice a couple little problems. Look, ultimately, we are all responsible for being able to do this type of work. And uh, at the end of the day, we're going to end up having to do it. Okay. So I hope you guys have a great day and hopefully, you know, you get to see some of this stuff. And, you know, it's been a long day, but hey, we're having fun, right? All right. We'll see you guys later.